today we're going to talk about a really exciting tool to buy and sell real estate and that is using auctions and with me is my good friend Lidio Brito a licensed auctioneer by the state of Florida Lidio Hi. welcome to the show thank you for the invitation let's jump right in explain to us briefly what is an auction and how does it work the auction is a, a gathering of qualified buyers interested in buying a property so qualified means that this this buyer already did their due diligence they already inspect the property they already did their their comparables they already uh, uh, secure either financing or cash to buy the property and when they gather together in one room mm -hmm. you know it's a very transparent transaction you know everybody knows what the other is is bidding mm -hmm. and you and the buyer has a chance to bid higher in order to win the property so auction auction is all about you know competition right. amongst buyer qualified buyers well that's a great benefit of using the auctions is uh the velocity the transparency excuse me with which the offers are made because you know what other people are buying and the fact that there are no contingencies when you buy through auction talk to me about the an, another benefit for example the speed of the transaction you know uh, an auction is, is an accelerated marketing process you know usually a property will sell in 30 days you know that's all we need to market the property and uh, it will go to auction in 30 days and we'll give another 30 days for the buyer to you know uh, finish you know title search and because uh, the property sold a clear title okay uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, in, in private auctions so um, the property sold in 30 days and you know it accelerates you know compared to a traditional marketing uh, for real estate you know MLS etc right. now is every property uh, ideal to go to 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 use this mechanism of auctions any property thing can go to auction right but the, the key is a motivated seller okay you know uh, any property can go could be a, you know a rundown property you know or it could be a ultra luxury Okay. But the seller has to be motivated, the seller has to be ready to take the property to auction. Explain to me a little bit about motivated sellers. What kind of characteristics are you looking for in the sellers and in the property itself? Usually I like to see a seller that has not just the need to sell the property, but has a story behind it. You know, something that is uh, uh, under pressure. It could be a divorce, it could be probate, it could be a death on the family. Uh, those are the reasons that are going to make the seller uh, think about uh, an offer received at auction mm -hmm. and not just sit and wait to see if someone else is going to show up uh, right. and pay more for the property. And in terms of the property and, and the state of financing of the property, is there a certain requirement in terms of how much equity the seller should have in the property to really uh, uh, give it the highest probability of success? We like to see 70 to 75 percent of, uh, of equity in the property, you know, uh, and that that doesn't mean the property is not going to sell for 100 percent, you know, or or a listing price or above. It depends on the interest of the property. If it's a very good property, it's going to attract a lot of buyers. Price will go up, but you know, it, it's it's not feasible to take a property to auction with less than 75 percent equity. Okay. Now, are there different kinds of property auctions? The most popular auctions for real estate are auctions with reserve of price, okay. minimum price or starting bid, and absolute. Reserve price is the auction where the seller sets a minimum acceptable price okay. to sell the price to sell the property. If we hit the minimum or above, the property is sold. Okay. Uh, and the uh, bids can start at any any bid can start yet if yeah. they don't reach that reserve price that strike price yeah. the, the auction doesn't go it doesn't matter where we start okay you know as long as we reach the reserve or higher okay. it's sold it's, it's successful the other one is a minimum price okay. we start at a minimum and so the buyer knows that everything sold at minimum or above is sold okay and absolute is there's no minimum is a uh, is, is uh, you know the seller has to have some you know uh, tolerance to risk right but those are the most successful auctions because it attracts a lot of people and right. the secret of auction successful auction is more bidders 
higher prices. Right. Yeah. Now, what are some of the costs involved if you want to sell your property at an auction? Today, we can take a property to auction for $2,500 of marketing costs yeah. um, to a property up to a million dollars. Above a million dollars, we have to spend a little bit more money because we have to go get that, you know, potential buyer somewhere else, you know, and add, uh, running ads in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. But for a local property up to a million dollars, we can do uh, a campaign for $2,500. Now the big question that our audience uh, wants to know is how can they participate in buying auctions? What are the, wh where do they go for these auctions and, and what are the opportunities that you see in the different formats? In, in today's market, uh, the court auctions are not a good deal. You know, the prices are going very high and because there's a lot of demand for court auctions. And court auctions are those where the properties are repossessed because they haven't paid a mortgage or there's a lien on the property? Yeah, mostly. Uh, the auctions that are bringing good results today are private auctions, like the ones that I do or governmental auctions. You know, usually it's the federal government selling a property that was repossessed uh, because of a crime. Uh, it could be immigration, it could be uh, tax, evasion. Tax, tax evasion. So usually those properties are very good. Right. And since the government didn't pay anything for it, yeah. you know, they really want to get rid of it. Yeah. So usually we, we've, we've been seeing very good pricing on governmental auctions. Well, this is really fascinating, Lidio. Thank you for sharing your You're knowledge welcome. with us. If you are interested in auctions or learning more, please reach out to us on our Facebook page and we'll get in touch with Lidio. And please keep sending your suggestions, your questions. Uh, we're trying to grow our show, so we want to bring content that's really uh, attractive to you guys. Till next time, thank you for watching this episode of Real Estate IQ. We'll see you soon. Have an awesome day.